Brand new studies, exercise can reverse aging. Wow, this is really important. You gotta watch this. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Health and Wellness Instructor, going on 34 years. Let's get healthy. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and please tell others. Let's get them healthy too. We're heading towards 100,000 subscribers very quick. A brand new study show we can reverse aging with exercise. Wow, is that something or not? And, you know, a lot of people don't exercise. And this is why we have such an aging uh, community of people around the world, especially in the United States. Now, when I say aging, I mean physically declining and mentally declining and that doesn't have to be. We can get older, but we don't have to get old. That's for sure. This new studies show that a particular lipid or fat called BMP actually starts to create the aging process. And as we exercise, we reduce that in our body and we don't age as fast. Wow. Especially aerobic exercise, you know, you know, uh, uh, gym exercises, running, uh, swimming, biking, especially biking, they've talked about, really are good for reducing this amount of uh, BMP in our body so we don't age faster. I'm a big time walker. I walk really fast. I'm almost cycling when I walk, that's for sure. And resistance training or weight training was found to really help with skin. Uh, and you keep a supple skin and it has a better thickness. It doesn't get thin as you get older. And so you look healthy and you look young. And despite the many benefits of exercising, hardly anybody exercises. About a third of the United States people say they exercise, but that's sporadic. The actual number that actually exercise every day is probably, you know, less than 10%. So I exercise every day. So by exercising, we can get rid of this terrible lipid, that BMP, and slow the aging process in a huge way. And Missouri Medicine actually showed that moderate to vigorous exercise can lower fatalities in a huge way. Wow. Cycling is good. Walking fast is good. Anything that gets you moving is good to lower this lipid which is in your body and contribute to a better quality of, of aging, that's for sure. Not only that, you keep your brain intact and you have better cognition too. The University of Birmingham and King's College in London followed 125 people who did cycling every day and they were age 55 to 79, and they were physically fit, and they did not decline age-wise like other people did. Wow. They also found that their immune system was much better. They had more T cells coming out of the thymus, the killer cells, and they were, your immune system is acting like a young person. Wow. And last year, a study in Japan showed that resistance training or weight training, working with the, you know, weight machines and things like that, or free weights, actually made the skin more youthful, more elastic, thicker, and so you look good. I hardly have any wrinkles. I'll be 71 here in about a month. Resistance training and aerobic exercise actually made the, the skin thicker. And, you know, and then most people, as they get older, it's hard to get very thin skin. It's not happening to me. Uh, you can prevent that for sure. Well, I recommend at least an hour of exercise every day. For people, I recommend 10,000 steps in less than an hour. You can do it. <laughs> that translates into about five miles in less than an hour. I do... Uh, 10 miles every day walking really fast. In fact, I have people try to keep up with me. One of my friends joined me. He said, I'm dropping out. I can't do this. <laughs> or 15 miles of biking or five miles of running or one mile of swimming. Now, all that will do you really good, that's for sure. 
And I recommend going to the gym, working out with the weight machines. I recommend getting a trainer for a couple of weeks and get down your routine. And then uh, work three days a week, 45 minutes each time. And that will make your skin better, your health better in general. And you slow the aging process. Well, in a nutshell, aerobic exercise, weight training, also any kind of exercise will really slow the uh, the aging of your body, mind, and being in general, and you will feel better all your life and live to be very old. Look at me. I'm going to be 71 in September, and I feel like 20, really. And I have a lot of get up and go. And like I said, I walk 10 miles every day. I'm just doing 100 pull-up crunches, and I exercise in all kinds of ways. It is important. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. You know, I have a, a man with terrible kidney disease. We hope to turn this around completely. I've had quite a few people with kidney disease. They've gotten better. And I really, uh, you know, I had kidney disease. At one time, my GFR was 12. Now it's 100. And we... For me, it was totally possible, absolutely. I've had people with another man just contacting me with autoimmune disease. We can turn that around, uh, absolutely positively. 831-869-9119. Also, remember God, remember I love you, and love is supremely important. Uh, I, I think one man said, it is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. And I think that's really important. Sometimes we need to put out our feelings about what we feel, and we may not be reciprocated with that, but at least we put it out there, and you never know where it's going to go. I love you.